Who's good, Potato? Spin the leak here, and it's another movie review. This time, it's Reefer Madness. Reefer Madness is actually a propaganda film made in 1938. We all know that in the early 1930s, uh, timber industry started, you know, kind of creating some negative propaganda about marijuana and its use in order to stop hemp cultivation so that they could continue to profit. Um, now, what most marijuana users nowadays don't really realize is how far the propaganda to get it legalized was. Now, most citizens these days, especially users and everyone's used at least a little bit at some point or another, I certainly know I have at one point, um, they know that the biggest side effects are the munchies and a few funny stories, unless they're idiotic enough to pick up a heavier substance. But initially, the propaganda stated in this movie, which was shown nationwide at PTA meetings, schools, theaters, and it was extremely risque for the time, let me tell you that. They showed shoulders. Such hussies. But, no, the propaganda said that it was more dangerous than methamphetamine, more dangerous than heroin, and three times more common. They said they induced cannibalism, uh, psychological defects, made you go crazy. Said they gave you uncontrollable laughter because you were going completely and totally insane. It was also used as a date rape drug. And it was so addictive that you couldn't get your mind off of it. They said that it would turn men to hooligans, women into whores. They actually went in depth talking about stories where uh, they said that female marijuana users started sleeping around and even got gangbanged. They, they cover that. Uh, it's, it's funny to say the least. But uh, it's a movie about basically your typical 1930s all-American boy slowly succumbing to addiction and getting wrapped up in horrible crimes. You even almost get sentenced to death penalty. Overall, it's hilarious. Uh, I am trying to get my hands on the musical still. I did enjoy it. It's stupid, it's funny, it's old school, and it is definitely worth checking out. And it's this recolored edition that I have here. It's trippy. Okay? It, the smoke comes in all different colors, kind of reflecting everyone's personality. The colors are bright. They're all primary. It is a weird thing to see, especially when you see the like kind of drug-dealing kingpin walk around in a pink suit acting like a badass. Uh... Have you seen this movie? If so, give me your thoughts on it. If not, go ahead and check it out if you can find a copy. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep on keeping on. I hope to see you in another video.